Hello, it's your boy, Mr. T-Shirt, back with another one. In this video, we're gonna be checking out a new heat transfer company. Well, the company's not really new, but they're new to me because I've never heard of them before. Until now, one of my close partners that I work with, he introduced me to this company, told me that they had some excellent quality heat transfers and to check them out. So I reached out to the company, had them send me a sample pack, and of course I had to go over that sample pack and review this company with no other than you guys. So without further ado, let's jump into this video. Let's check out this sample pack from Howard Customs. All right guys, so right here we have our sample pack from Howard Customs. Let's open this up. Let's see what we got in here. All right, so they send you a nice little book. It says, Howard Custom Transfers Product Guide for 2022. So it looks like they have offices or headquarters in Chicago, Houston, and Los Angeles. All right, so we open it up. And we have a little flyer that says now available flat rate shipping ground is $15 second day is 25 next day is 45 bucks and then we have the different samples that's included in the pack All right right here so here we have a creative color vibe All right you know let me show you guys the actual transfers as I Go over the descriptions. Let me turn this air off because it's blowing everything. All right, so the first one we have is our, what they call creative color vibe. Now that's this one here. That's what this transfer looks like. All right, now they said that this one is a digital hybrid screen print transfer. Temp time on this one is 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, pressure time is 10 to 12 seconds. Pressure is at a firm press or 55 PSI. And this is a cold peel. All right. So one of the things that I'm not too fond of is cold peels. I like something that's quick and efficient. So I do like, so I do like having a hot peel transfer. However, depending on how the outcome is, I don't, you know, I'll deal with it if I have to. But this one here, the creative color vibe is a cold peel, sorry. All right, then next one we have is Endure. So that one is, looks like a screen printed, yeah, I was gonna say, looks like a neck tag. So goes on the inside, on the back where you usually have your size, material, so you see like this one says 50% cotton, 50 polyester. And sometimes they'll have like the pressing instructions or um, how to wash and dry it at what temperatures. So this is gonna be your neck, your neck tag on the inside of the back of your shirt. And this is also a, like I said before, a screen printed transfer. Um, this one, you're gonna, the temp pressure, the temperature is at 375 to 385 degrees Fahrenheit. The press time on this one, however, is only four to eight seconds. So this is a very quick press. Um, it's a firm press, 50 to 70 PSI, and this one is a hot peel. All right. So that's our Endure tagless label transfer. Now, the next one we have is our Howard multi-purpose uh, screen printed plastisol transfer. And that's what this one here looks like. Okay. And this one, the temperature is at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 310 degrees Fahrenheit. The time is 10 to 12 seconds or 20 to 25 seconds. Medium pressure, hot peel. Now, I'm not really quite sure why the two different times, because that is such, that's, definitely a big gap um 10 to 12 seconds or 20 to 25 seconds so and also the temperature because they say you can press from 300 
you can press at either 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 310 degrees Fahrenheit. So not too sure about that one. What's the exact correct temperature to press it at? Um, I usually press my transfers at 320 degrees. So for something like this, I would probably play it safe. And being that it's in between those two temp um, temperature times, I would stay safe with 320 degrees. As far as press time, I would go to 15 to 20 seconds on a press. All right. And again, that one is a hot peel as well. The next one we have is our screen printed is another Howard multi-purpose screen printed plaster sole transfer. Same uh, application time, 350 degrees or 310, 10 to 12 seconds or 20 to 25 medium pressure. And this is also a hot peel. So that's what this one looks like. And guys, you know, guys, I don't want to fast forward or skip, you know, skip the video because I am way till the end. I'm going to actually press up a couple of these on some garments to see the texture, how they come out, the peel process, the whole application process. All right. So bear with me. I try to speed up the video a little bit. Um, this one here you have. Now, this one here caught my eye. And I must say, number one, it's a hot peel transfer, which I love. The temp time is at 375 degrees and is 10 to 12 seconds on the press, press time with a firm pressure and it's a hot peel. But the reason this really caught my eyes, if you guys can see up close, don't know if you can see it. This one has like a metallic in it. Can you guys see that? Now, any of the other transfer companies that I've worked with, I have yet to come across a company that produces a transfer with metallic colors in it. And that is something that I've been searching for for a while. So that is a plus already over some of the other com competitors. All right, so that one is cool. This is one, I'm not gonna press up all of these. I'm just gonna press up some of the ones that stand out a little more than the others. So this one will set aside to press that one up because I'm sure you guys would like to see how that one comes up. Then there's another one that caught my eye. And I must say, so far this company is killing it with the variety of types of uh, transfers that they have. Now, I want you guys to comment below if you've seen any of these, whether you've seen this metallic that I just showed you or this one, which is exclusive. This one says, be kind. Now guys, can you see this? What is this made out of? That's right, it's gold glitter, but on a transfer. Now, do you have, guys have, do you guys have any other companies or transfer, um, do you guys know of any other transfer companies that are doing glitter on their transfers? Screen printed plaster sole transfers in glitter? If so, like I said, let me know. Comment below and put me on. Drop a gem on me if you have one. All right, so definitely this is another one that we're gonna be pressing up. And for the glitter, the temp time is 350 degrees, 15 seconds at a firm pressure, hot peel as well. Then you have another popular one. And this one, most transfer companies will have um, this one is a ultra stretch. So if you're making, say, sports apparel, athletic wear, this is the type of transfer that you want to go with, being that it has that stretchy type of um, play with it. This one is called the ultra stretch. It's also a screen printed plaster sole transfer. Um, the temp time on this one is 335 degrees to 340 degrees, 12 to 14 seconds time. Uh, press time and the pressure on this one is going to be a medium pressure and this one too is a cold peel okay so we'll press that one up being that that one is kind of like a specialty it's a stretch um transfer we'll do that one as well all right and we think we have two more these you're not going to be able to see these are white 
but these are called Vintage Wash MP and let's see. Okay, so the Vintage Wash MP, this works on 100% cotton, cotton poly blends, 100% polyester, spandex, liquor, and rayon. All right, now there's two vintage washes. One is the MP application and one is the HHP uh, application. Now the HHP, which stands for Howard Hot Peel application, this one can only be applied to 100% cotton or cotton poly blends. So you can't use this one on spandex or rayon or 100% polyester, all right? so. Both of these are vintage uh, transfers. Like I said, you're not gonna really be able to see. You might be able to see a little bit. It says Chicago CH with some other stuff on there. All right, and this, this is nice. It tells you how to apply it. Step one, how to prep it. Step two, apply temperature, 350 degrees, 10 to 12, 10 to 12 seconds, firm, hot peel immediately. All right? And then last but not least, your revolution, which is, looks, which looks like this. All right, now your revolution are your vinyl name and numbers. Okay, so now if you feel the back of it, I don't know you guys can't feel it, but as I touch the back of this, this feels more like vinyl. And that's exactly what it is. It says revolution vinyl name number. Okay, temp time, 285 degrees, press time. Did I say temp time just now? Temperature, 285 degrees Fahrenheit. Press time is six seconds. So again, it's a quick press. Pressure is gonna be a medium pressure and this is a warm peel, okay? So there you have those. Um, let's get the heat press warmed up so we can press out these three samples. Like we said, we're gonna do the stretch. We're gonna do the glitter and we're gonna do the metallic. All right, so sit tight. Let's warm up that heat press. Let me grab a shirt and let's get to pressing. All right, so now that we have our press heat up, heated up to 350 degrees, we're gonna go ahead and Press our B kind, the glitter. We're gonna do this one first. All right, so do this one up here in the corner. And this one says that we're gonna press for 15 seconds at a firm pressure and it's gonna be a hot peel. So we're going to press this bad boy for 15 seconds and we're going to peel it hot. I have my press set to 60 seconds, so at 45 seconds, then I'll pick her up. All right, so one of two things. Either my pressure wasn't firm enough or we needed more time on there. But however, if I run my hand over it, It actually feels pretty good. It looks good, it feels good. Um, I don't know. You know what? Let me hit this bad boy a second time, but this time I'll throw my Teflon sheet over it. Even though I lost a couple of pieces, it's fine. I'm gonna turn the press up a little more. 
And don't laugh at my squeaky press. I know it needs, it needs oiling. Just haven't got around to it. It's dusty. It's, I definitely got to clean it up. That's one of my things on my agenda for this weekend. That's what I'll do. Unplug it, blow it down, clean it up. So I hit another 15 now. And let's see. Yeah. And as you can see now, I have some on my Teflon sheet, which I'm not happy about. Well, luckily it comes off. Very easy. All right, so that came off pretty easy. See guys, this is why I do these videos with you guys. So you can see the good and the bad. Now, I pressed it again and my opinion, even though it feels good on here, I still have some edges. Let me take you guys, let me zoom in a little bit, see if you guys can see. Bring you guys in. Now, if you see here, I still have some lifted edges. I now turned up the pressure. I hit it for another 15 seconds with the Teflon sheet on it. And still I have some lifted edges on, on here, even on the side. Okay, so glitter. Most likely won't, will be a no-go for me. Let's move on to the next one. So our next one is our, the metallic. All right, hopefully we'll have better results with this one. So on this one, they want you to turn up the temperature to 375. And we're gonna press this one for 10 to 12 seconds. And this one is a hot peel. All right, so we'll put this one down here. Now I'm only used to dealing with metallics when it comes to heat transfer vinyl. I gotta show you guys the wall. Let me back this up a little bit while this heats up. I'll show you guys the wall. These are. Oh, you see the two empty ones, it means I gotta re restock those. But you see my red metallic over there, have some carbon fiber, gray carbon fiber, white carbon fiber, have some reflective. So to have metallic heat transfer, that, that's pretty dope. All right, so we're at 375 now. My press is still on a firm press. Um, and we're gonna press it for 10 to 12 seconds. And on this one, I'm gonna give this one even 15 seconds. So we try to avoid what happened on the last one. All right. So here we go. And now they're saying this is a hot peel. Okay. This one came out nice, clean. bring this one in for you guys so you guys can see this one but the only thing with this one is see on camera it looks a little brighter than in person so the color that we just saw the color shade is totally different and I'm sure you guys can tell by even the camera, even though the camera makes it look a lot cleaner, the cam the color shade is definitely 
different. All right, so, but as far as how it lays, I mean, it definitely feels like it's one with the shirt. When you touch it, when you go over it with your hand, it's nice and smooth. This one laid very nice. The application on this one got 100%. So to vote, to rate this one, I would have to give this one maybe... If the colors was spot on, I would have gave this one. And I understand that colors slightly shift. So you know what? I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. All right. First one, epic fail. Now, since I have the camera down, I'll show you guys the lifted edges still. But after I press, well, I did just press it again. So, so now that the now the edges are down, but. I'm not gonna really, you know, not gonna count this one out. The glitter. Might have just needed a little extra TLC. Alright, so let's jump over to the next one now. Last but not least, we have the ultra stretch. Alright, so this one now, temp time is between 335 and 340, so I'm gonna have to bring the press down. 375 is high. That's almost at sublimation temperature. I'm gonna bring this down. Let's bring this, what he said, 335. Yeah, I'm gonna go exactly 335. Okay. Let's bring the shirt up a little bit so we have some more fresh area. I mean, but I'm, I'm still, like I said, I'm still impressed with this metallic because I, I haven't came across a transfer company that, a heat transfer company that, that offers metallic and glitter as part of their catalog. So for them to even have this on the market, that's, that's, that's big. So this one's counting down. And now the ultra stretch is gonna press for 12 to 14 seconds at a medium pressure. And this is the one that's a cold peel. So I'm gonna turn the pressure down a little bit. And then we're going to cold peel this one. All right, so we should be down to 335 now. And we're gonna press this 12 to 14 seconds. Medium. That's two. Again, I'm going to give this 15 seconds. That's gonna be a cold peel, so we'll turn off the press. Let's cool this off. Now, a quick way to cool off your transfers, just flip them upside down, rub them on a coat on a table, and the surface is automatically gonna cool it down. Rub it back and forth. Make sure your surface is clean, of course. And yeah, I might have a little dust over there, but again, this is an old shirt, so I'm not really worried about that. Okay. So let's 
back up here now. Peel this off. And let me put it back up here so you guys can be a judge. Bring the camera in so you guys can see it. All right, now, you guys, you let me know what you guys think. Comment below and let me know what you guys think of this one. Now, as I rub my hand over it, it feels good. It peeled nice. Okay. Now, if I look at this one, and I'm looking at it up close, one thing that I don't like is these white edges. These edges... They're just not that clean to me. I mean, like, honestly, like, you didn't even, like, the white outline, whatever that, I don't know if it's glue. I'm, like, I'm not even sure, like, at this point, like, but you definitely didn't need it. All right, but as far as the texture, it feels good against the shirt. Okay, it, it peeled nicely. Has a nice color to it. But, I don't know. I, I, I'm just kind of iffy on this. Um, rating this one, just because Detail is very important to me. I'm, I'm gonna have to probably give this one a, a seven out of ten. Again, guys, comment below. Let me know what you guys think. All right. So, out of the three, I think that we chose, I think to do demos on, I think the metallic had the best uh, output. It came out the cleanest, came out the nicest. You know, uh, the color was slightly a little bit duller than I expected based on what was on the original transfer, as I showed you guys. The glitter, I was disappointed in the peel because we lost some of it. I was really looking forward to having a nice, easy peel and application process with this. Um, ended up pressing it, having to press it like two or three times for everything to lay, but at that point, it's like, kind of kills the mood. But overall, guys, this is Howard Customs. Um, there are some more transfers over here. You know, I'm not gonna go through all of them, but let me know what you guys thought of this video and I'll catch you on the next one.